So I'm back on trial, and this time I'm on the um, Müller Osteen. So I'm right next to this lake, so I should be able to see a nice uh, sunset if uh, the clouds keep away, it's been raining. So this is my first night in the Bo Bora Gear Ultralight Tarp, it's a 7x9 and I've got the um, Bora Gear bivy bag with the uh, Cuban fibre bottom on it. So tonight's dinner is some um, beef, um, bulgar and uh, vegetables. Good morning, this is day two of my little mini adventure. Um, I've only got about 17 kilometers, maybe more today. I did about three or four kilometers last night. Um, came in late and um, I guess I went to bed around about 10 o'clock last night. Had a little bit of rain last night. Had my first night in my Bora gear tarp, which was quite interesting. A lot different from my other shelters. Um, um, as of my impressions are that um, it's a bit noisy in the wind, like the tarp itself flaps around. It'll even though it's uh, torn and it's tight. When the wind's really blowing, which it did last night, um, I could hear it, sort of, the wind blowing through it, flapping it. It couldn't have been any tighter, so it's not because it wasn't tight enough. Um, anyway, I had my earplugs with me, so I had, had them in last night, and that seemed to do the trick. But um, I sort of, Heard all sorts of noises last night. It was a bit of a strange night. Anyway, I slept okay. Got up, yeah, a bit late for me. I'm on trial now. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, haven't had breakfast yet. So, um, the weather's a bit, I mean, <clears throat> it's, there's some, it spits to rain a bit and then stops and it's a bit sort of uh, grey and overcast, but it's not cold, which is good. I'm walking the. I'll just show you right next to the lake. So I slept right next to the lake last night. It was quite nice, although I could hear the water uh, hitting the edge of the lake uh, all the time. So last night I got the train to Farham station, train station, and then I walked here under the bridge along the side of this lake, past all these um, campsites, and then I walked all the way down here to this area here, and that's where I camped last night. 
So this morning I've walked through here, boom, boom, over here, and then I've just walked over this bridge, and now I'm just sitting up here, just taking a bit of a break. So today, okay, I'm sitting up here. So today I've got to walk here, and then I got to follow this track here this way and then all the way out here to the sound this way Sweden so this is the sound it's called Ersun and that's between the water that's between Denmark and Sweden been walking for about a couple of hours now times uh, nine o'clock and um, I've already reached uh, Lungbu and I've gone through there um, and now I'm in this uh, nice forest again I'm uh, just on the right side of the, the creek the Mula U and um, the train line is out there too so I followed the train line for a, a little ways and uh, I reckon I've got about nine kilometers left so I hit I should hit the uh, the ocean or the sound at um, around about 11 o'clock this morning only four kilometers left I'm going to this uh, Strandmühlen beach, the beach mill, translated to English, and um, this path's not too bad here. So I don't know if it's going to be like this for the next uh, four kilometres. I have to watch out a bit. There was some uh, whole heap of guys on a uh, on mountain bikes that just went screaming past. And uh, they're not the first ones today. So this hike's almost over. About two kilometres left. Until I get to um, the end station. And um, that's it. See you next time. So I made it to the sound. So out there is uh, Sweden. And this is the posh northern area of Copenhagen. So now I guess I'm going this way. So this is Tarnmullen here. This will be my end station, so now I'm on my way down to uh, find a train.